Um, thank you for joining me today. My name is Amy, and I will be interviewing you to gain valuable insights uh, in the field of pharmacy. Okay. Um, what's your full name? My name is Margaret Jane. Okay. Um, where are you from? Do you live in Houston? I do. I'm from Houston. Morning, Rice. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your employment background? Um, I am. I've been working for Walgreens for about 12 years. Um, I started as a pharmacy technician while I was in pharmacy school. When I graduated, I was the staff pharmacist for about uh, two years, and then I became a pharmacy manager in 2005, where I've been at this location um, ever since then. Um, what are your primary duties and responsibilities? My primary duties as a pharmacist are a verification of prescriptions, consultations, um, drug utilization review, medication therapy management. Um, as, a, as a pharmacy manager, I'm in charge of pharmacy operations for this location. Um, I'm also in charge of managing staff schedules, um, training, um, anything that deals with you know, managing the, the staff, I'm in charge of that. Okay. Um, have they changed over time? Yes. Um, as, as the field of pharmacy grows, our duties change. We become immunizers. Um, we do blood pressure checks. We, it's not just the, you know, count and pour anymore. It's, it's really evolved over the years. Did you know early in life what you wanted to do? Yes. Um, well, probably about high school, I knew I wanted to be in the field of health care. I just didn't know for sure, you know, if I wanted to be a nurse or if I wanted to be a pharmacist. But I, I decided on becoming a pharmacist. Okay. Um, did a teacher, family member, or role model help you influence you to go into this field? Yes, it was my mother, who was a nurse, who um, really pushed me and you know encouraged me to become a farm, become a nurse. And then I went, I decided I wanted to be a pharmacist, and so she really encouraged me to go forward with that. Um, briefly describe your formal education. What degrees or certifications have you Okay, I have a doctorate in pharmacy, PharmD. Um, also, I'm a certified immunizer, and I am also a preceptor where I can train other staff members, other students, oh. interns, and externs in pharmacy. Oh. What do you like most about your job? I love um, helping the customers, helping the patients, making them, um, helping them with their drug therapy management, maintaining their um, medications on time, and helping them, you know, have an overall healthy lifestyle. Um, that's the, the main thing I love about the job, is, is, is helping the patients. What do you like the least? Um, the thing I like the least about it is that I don't have enough time in the day to spend with the patients and talk to them and get more insight about them, and um, because it's such a rush, rush, you know, fast-paced job, then we always have to, you know, keep everything limited to what we can say and how long we can talk to our patients because we have to move on. <laughs> and how are the hours? Um, for pharmacists with, at Walgreens, you know, they do a split, a shift rotation. So one week we may work eight to four, and the other week we may work two to ten. On some, at some 24-hour locations, they have some middle shift pharmacists, eleven to seven, and then they have the overnight pharmacists from ten to seven. So that's just for Walgreens. So we do work eight-hour shifts here at, you know, at Walgreens. Does the company offer benefits? We do. Um, we have medical, dental, um, 401k. Um, it's a very good company, very solid company to work for. What are your communication strengths? Um, my communication strengths are that I'm very patient and thorough and that I'm, you know, I love to listen to the customers and find out what it is that they're needing. And, um, I would say that my strengths are patience and being their own. Yeah. Uh, what are your weaknesses? Um, I speak really fast, so that's you know the thing that I probably would say is something I would work on. Um, have you had any cultural um, competency training to assist you in working with treating individuals for other um, backgrounds? Well, I'm not bilingual, but I took a lot of Spanish in school, and I do have. I try to staff the pharmacy with this many um, Spanish-speaking customers at, at our location because our um, 
at our location, the demographic is, you know, we have a majority of Spanish-speaking customers that come to the store. So, um, but, you know, other than that, um, if there's something that we need, if there's a language barrier that we're having that is something other than Spanish or English, then we, we can contact, you know, we have a, web, we have a uh, website where we can look, dial a pharmacist, call a, call a phone number, and dial a pharmacist, and we can do um, translations over the telephone. So. And they, do and they do consultations, they explain the medications, they talk about insurance, whatever that we do here, they can do there. They're still a pharmacist, they just do it in, their, in that language for the patient. Does age impact uh, on the job communication? Um, does age? Well, it depends. In, in the workplace, in the, in the pharmacy, I would say, you know, it does take a mature person to be in this high-paced environment. Um, so I, I wouldn't necessarily say age, but I would say you know, maturity if you're able to handle high stress, multitasking, um, going at a fast pace. Um, so I would say it would be more of, of how mature you are. information uh, label can come out in any language we have maybe I can't remember how many but we have several several different languages that we can print out for the patient depending on what they you know what language they speak what role do nonverbal communication cues play in the work environment well we do have some hearing impaired patients um, so we have to go from you know speaking as we normally do to, you know, writing down things or using sign language. Um, so, but just, again, it just takes patience and being thorough and um, finding out what the customer needs and, and helping the patient. That's the overall goal. Uh, do you have any final thoughts or advice to give? Um, I love my job in the sense that I love to help customers and, and you know, it's, 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 it's amazing how customers, just speaking to someone, you can really change their life in the sense of them just becoming knowledgeable of their medications and knowing what to take, what not to take, what not, you know, what drug interactions they have. Um, it's, it's so your role as a pharmacist would be one of great importance because, you know, your li other people's lives are in your hands. So I would suggest, you know, study hard, and make sure that, you know, you are thorough when you're, you know, helping the patients and making sure that, you know, they need, they, they have everything that they need from, you know, drug therapy management to OTC items to whatever it is that they need because, you know, sometimes you're the last, you're, you're the final person that they see. Sometimes they don't get a chance to go to the doctor. Sometimes they just want to come in and give you, you know, get a, get a consultation from you or over-the-counter medications because they don't have any insurance. So, you know, sometimes you are their, their doctor, their pharmacist, their nurse, their, their everything, their one-stop shop. So I would just suggest, you know, um, just be very thorough with your patients and, and study hard. And, um, make sure that you love what you do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so much. Thank you.